My family immigrated to the United States when I was seven years old. We're originally from Argentina, and so in Argentina, there were a lot of um, economic uh, problems going on at the time. My parents had, had recently converted to the LDS church, so they saw Utah as, as the ideal place to, to escape. I mean, my parents never lied to me. They always told me straight up uh, the reality of our situation. Um, growing up, I remember when I was in the fifth grade that I had, I had a crush on, on a person in my class. I remember feeling that I was inferior because if that person were to find out what my documented status was, that somehow I just felt like they wouldn't like me anymore or they would not be interested in me in pursuing a friendship or anything. And I mean, and I was in fifth grade, I was 11 years old and I already noticed that I had this inferiority attached to me. I came out during the whole Prop 8 era when the LDS church was really hyped up about homosexuality and same-sex marriage. My parents were just sharing the typical LDS views that everyone had, that it was a sin against God and that it was just a horrible thing. And suddenly I just got up from the table and ran to my room crying. And they came to my room and asked me what was going on and that's when I told them that I was, I was gay and I was attracted to other boys and that it was something I was really ashamed of, but that was true. I was in high school when college started becoming more prominent and I needed to start applying for scholarships and I, I qualified for a lot of the scholarship with my academics and everything that I had done in school, but when it came to that little piece on the document that said citizenship or U.S. resident, I couldn't progress or use my talents in any way that would be recognized because no matter what, I would be undocumented, even if I was very talented. I, I didn't find a, a place where I could go where I could find people that would validate me as a person who is queer. I didn't have people that I could look up to who were queer. I didn't have people who could guide me through that. And so accepting it was very difficult as I was growing up. I was tired. I was tired of always hiding. I was tired of hiding that I was undocumented. I was tired of, of hiding um, the reality that I, I lived in a very, very oppressive circumstances. I was tired of silencing myself. So when I got to college, I, I affirmed my queerness and I, I was proud to be gay. I think some of the challenges that come with both is that you have no... You have no representation. You have no nowhere that you can look and, and see yourself and see people who are going through your struggles. I mean, it's really hard to be undocumented and to find people who are undocumented and all the difficulties that you have to deal with that. But put being gay on top of that or being queer on top of that and you're just kind of in this bind where you, you really don't find any support. Even, even places that offer help to LGBT specific communities, they're very white dominant and that they assume that everyone is middle class, white, and, and a citizen. And so a lot of the resources they provide don't really apply to you. And a lot of the, the you just don't feel like you fit in. Um, so that's, those are some of the difficulties you experience. I think there's a lot of undocu queers here in Utah who are still silent about their queer part. Um, and there's a lot of moments when I've searched help from them, but they weren't really willing to guide me when it came to the queer part because they weren't ready to affirm it in themselves. Uh, so that's, that's still a struggle I'm dealing with, trying to understand what it, how to be queer in a way that isn't destructive. I think that being undocu queer really made me feel like I couldn't just sit there anymore. I couldn't just be silenced anymore. It gave me this, this energy to, to do something about the situation that I was living in and, and to, to speak up. I think the most important thing is to really love yourself. Love yourself first because when you're undocumented and when you're queer, you're gonna find a lot of people and a lot of messages hidden throughout society that make you feel like you're inferior make you feel like that you are a piece of trash. And so I think it's important to 
to be proud of who you are and never feel shame because shame is the number one silencer. Um, so it's just important to affirm yourself.